morning so today it's a friday and i thought what better way to end a friday than to invite a couple of my friends over and to have like a bollywood desi themed movie night i've been wanting to do this for a while but it was just hard to get everyone together and also when i plan things especially if it's going to involve me cooking i like to leave like a lot of time in advance so like i can prepare to get all the ingredients and like prepare what i'm gonna cook and like literally organize everything even if it's a really small scale at first i didn't even think of of filming today but I was like you know what for the memories it will be such a cute little memory and it'll be nice to have everyone together because I don't usually host things at mine I usually go to my friends and like they host things so since it's the first time I wanted to make it special I wanted to make it nice because obviously this is probably the first and maybe last time because Ramadan's around the corner and I, I doubt I'll be hosting something like this again anytime soon at least so I I've got something on my face Ugh. I hope I can make it really special, really fun and really nice and my main concern is the food. I just want the food to be yummy. I laid out a couple of goodies there which I bought. I finally got that off my nose. It's like a little hair that was like itching my nose. It's currently 11am and so far I've got to marinate the chicken. I've got to go and buy the roti because I haven't bought any yet. I don't know why. I literally went to Trader Joe's yesterday and it completely slipped in my mind. <laughs> got my bread these look like very good reps for rotis because i cannot make them from scratch so i think this was quite good i got a bunch of 12. i know that's going to be enough but i just wanted to get something extra so i got some pitas as well pita bread which have like the little pockets inside i did get one other thing for my dal my shallot So now I'm going to start off by just cutting all my veggies. I did buy these pre-cut because I just thought it would save me time. This is a giant onion which is going to be sufficient for my chicken curry and the vegetable curry. But I did get my new little shallot for the dal. Got some peppers. These are kind of expensive here. But anyway, I got two. One for my veg and then one for my chicken garlic because that's a must and then i just got a tomato to add in to my dal i am going to make my vegetable curry using mushrooms broccoli and a pepper it's not going to be as good as my grandma's but i'm gonna try <laughs> time to start cooking because i've got a couple hours left and i need to make sure that everything is done in time so i can present it nicely on the table i'm going to start off with my dal in that pan there and then i'm just going to let that simmer for a while because once everything's in the pot i don't really need to touch it anymore and then in the flat pan i'm going to start by making my vegetables first it's been quite a long time since i've cooked last so i'm a little bit excited to put my skills to the use i hope that i don't end up burning anything or worse yet adding too much salt because that's something irreversible so let's just hope that everything goes well and everything tastes super yummy scrummy for my vegetables i'm going to start off just by sauteing the onions in some lovely extra virgin olive oil after that i'm going to just add in a little bit of seasonings but not too many spices because i don't want it to like completely overtake the flavor of the vegetables then i'm going to add in the mushroom broccoli and a red pepper into the mix and then in that pan there, I'm going to start simmering my dal, which will be lentils, onions, turmeric, water. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Salt. Garlic, I'm going to add at the end. And then I was thinking, obviously, you know how you have like chana dal, which is like thick pieces of thicker dal grains. 
I don't have that, but I was thinking to add chickpeas because it's the same effect. Because once I made someone chickpeas and I made it so watery by accident that they thought I made them chana dal, which is kind of funny. So I just went with it and I never told them it wasn't chana dal, it was just chickpeas. But I'm thinking to do that today just to give it a little bit more texture, but I haven't decided yet what I want to do about that. While that cooks, I wanted to show you guys my lovely vegetable platter. I love vegetables. Not all the time, sometimes when I'm feeling like it. This looks so delicious i love all the different colors i haven't made dal in a very long time so i've kind of forgotten exactly how to make it i'm going to start off by measuring my lentils i bought this from england because it's cheaper it's so expensive here to buy lentils anyway i don't eat lentils that much so i'm going to use three cups i don't know if that's too much two i can't even ask anyone at home because of the time difference everyone's sleeping two cups or three cups i genuinely like can't think I think I'm gonna go for three because more is better than less. So three cups. I added one cup to the pot, but I need to wash them more thoroughly. So let's add the second cup. Ooh. Okay, I think two is actually enough because for like five people, plus there'll be other stuff, I think two is more than enough. So in here, I've got my two cups of lentils. They look rather cool. I really miss lentils because I just haven't had it properly in a very long time. I will give this a thorough wash. It feels really nice. Like lentils just feel so massaging in my hand. I'm going to go and wash this and then really improvise the rest of the steps because I don't actually know how to make it and I've never successfully made it before. Do you know what? I did consider buying it, but then I thought, oh, I don't like the feeling of making something and everyone's like, wow, this is so nice. And I take the compliment as if I made it. But then at the same time, I don't want to be like, oh, I didn't make it. I bought it. That's the worst. So I would rather skip all of that and just make it because that way when I accept the compliment, I can truly accept it. So far, so good. I just washed my lentils so they're in here in a nice, warm, watery bath. I'm going to then put this to boil and I'm going to add all the rest of the ingredients to it and also my onions are sizzling away so I need to go and add my vegetables to that so then they like have something to do. I'm going to add in my broccoli. Now I'm going to add my red peppers. Time to add the mushrooms. I washed it in the container which wasn't a brilliant idea but at the same time it was a rather clever idea. So let's add those in. Now let's focus on my dal for now. I'm going to add in my onions, turmeric, salt and leave it to simmer. So I just finished cooking my vegetable curry. I think the smell of it all together just smells divine because I usually never add peppers, but it makes a huge difference. Now I'm waiting for the dal to simmer. It's making quite a mess of itself, but I think it's because I had the temperature too high, so it was like splattering. You can still hear it in the back. Um, I'm gonna go and add tomatoes to finish that off and I'm waiting for the consistency to get a bit thicker but I'm not gonna add chickpeas because I realised that was a bit of a weird idea so I'm just gonna let it simmer, do what it's gonna do and then I'm gonna make a start on my chicken curry. I am doing quite well with time but I'd rather like be prepared so that I can spend extra time doing like little details and stuff like that and also doing my dessert. I just can't believe what a mess it's made. The whole area around it is yellow and my ladle is now yellow. For my side dish, I was going to stick to just desi food and get like spring rolls or ready-made pakoras because I really like the Trader Joe ones. But I've actually got a change of mind and I'm going to make taquitos. That sounds super random, but it's just the most accessible to me. I'm going to put this in the oven, but I have to time it and put it in before I put my dessert in the oven. But I also still want it to be warm. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do my dessert first because they don't have to be warm and i'll put the taquitos in so that it's like warm and ready for when they come in i'm thinking i never had to think of all this stuff before it's kind of like stressful because i want everything to be like warm nice delicious ready for when they come i had a mini predicament because i cut way too much um I was about to say apples, what the hell is it called? onions for my chicken curry because yes i'll need onions but i won't need that many that's a lot so I'm thinking maybe I'm going to get hot oil, fry the onions in it, and then sprinkle that hot crispy fried onions over the dal. 
with some garlic because that could be like a nice garnish now that i've added the like crispy onions and garlic on top of the dal i'm gonna use that pan to make a start on my chicken curry oh my god ignore the absolute crime scene at the back but i'm basically gonna start on my chicken curry i'm first gonna just let my onions cook thoroughly add my seasonings and then add in my chicken pieces I may have overcalculated, so I do have quite a lot of chicken, but I need to make sure there's enough space in the pan for later when I add in my peppers. I'm gonna let my chicken just sit on low heat. I completely forgot about something else I was gonna make. It literally just crossed my mind now because I was gonna make it as a side. So I already have salad, which is fine. It's just like a shop-bought salad, but I wanted to make, this sounds so random, but it's really delicious. It's an egg and potato salad for the side, like just to eat on the side. I literally got potatoes for that reason, but that's using my only boiling pot that I have. So now I need to think resourcefully how to do this because really I should have boiled that first. So I decided to make some kind of like a Bombay alo rather than doing the egg and potato salad because that way it's a lot more like on theme and it's more like everyone's cup of tea. I'm getting very hot and flustered and sweaty at the moment, but I'm gonna put all of this into a baking tray and then bake it with some seasonings on top. So now all my potatoes are in there, I'm gonna go and just drizzle it in some olive oil. Then I'm gonna add a bit of like every spice without measuring the amount. So of course salt is gonna go first and then curry powder, paprika, turmeric, cumin, chili powder. This is a final product before it goes in the oven. It smells very good, very Bombay, and I'm gonna go and mix it up a little bit so that all the spices are evenly covering each little potato cube and then it's gonna go in the oven. This is sweat, it's sweat. I'm really sweaty right now. So I just mixed it with my hands. This is what it should basically look like. I didn't measure anything. I was a bit heavier on the cumin just because I think it gives a really nice fragrance. And I added paprika for color because I didn't wanna to add too much chili powder. So it sort of compensated for the color of that without being spicy. So my dal is done, completely finally finalized and done. My vegetables done, my Bombay aloes are in the oven, which I actually need to check on. Um, my chicken is simmering and slowly cooking. So I think I'm doing quite well with time. The only thing I've got to like really focus on making are the cookies for the dessert. But other than that, I think I have it pretty well under control. I just wanna spend some time sorting out the decoration so that it looks kind of presentable and nice. I am very happy with my improv idea of the aloo potatoes because they look really good and crispy. And not even that, there's like a fragrance, like a smell that smells so delicious. So this is gonna be a very quick side dish. Basically, because I got some pitters, they can go inside the pitta with like salad and then like any curry on top, even the dal, I guess. So I think that will be an extra like filler dish, which will just look nice and hopefully taste nice. Now the oven is empty, I'm gonna start on the biscuit slash cookie things. This is what I've got to work with. I've never used these before. They are so American and I'm kind of scared to screw this up because this is the only like actual dessert that I have. Uh, it says home style biscuits. I mean, it should be pretty dummy proof. I doubt I can mess this up. But then again, who knows, because I can't bake anything. Now let's give it a try. And my aim is to put these really cute Valentine's Day M&Ms on top to make it look nice. And yeah, I mean, do you know what? One pack makes 10. So do I make 20? I don't think I need 20. Maybe I'll make one pack, isn't it? That's more reasonable, right? I wanted to record this experience because I've never made anything like this before. So I don't even know if I'm opening it right. Okay, so press spoon at a seam what does that even mean oh my god okay i think you twist it i don't know okay man <gasps> that was so flipping scary what the hell happened there i did not expect this to explode but it did say pressurized so maybe i should have taken that into consideration but that was so scary. I'm actually shaking. What the flip? I just got traumatized by biscuits. It's like a dough, which is quite obvious. Obviously it would be dough, but that, I'm still not over that. Like that, that was scary. My heart went boom. You don't actually need confetti balloons when it's like someone's celebration. You just pop one of these. Cause what the heck? It's just press, but where would you press it? Anyway, I should have watched the tutorial first. 
don't do what I did unless you want a jump scare. I'm going to use this one to bake my cookies in because that's the only one I have. But it's so yellow from my Bombay potatoes. I hope it doesn't make my biscuits yellow. <laughs> for real the bottom of my cookies are definitely going to be so yellow because curry stains don't go and they literally seep through everything uh i should have thought about that but oh well too late i didn't and i just need to make sure that no one ever looks at the bottom of the biscuit also the m ms didn't like go through the biscuit the way i thought it would it just laid on top so i hope that that still works and i don't like make it and it literally pops off because it's supposed to sink into the dough that's pretty much everything done though in terms of like food and dessert prep now that i think of it i really should have caught back up dessert but i do have a bunch of chocolates and like sweet snack things that'll be okay and hopefully that can compensate and i have my fruit as well i'm just thinking though i have to sit up now but that's like the worst part that's the part where i want someone to like help me or like i instruct them and they do it i don't like doing the actual setup bit but I suppose today I don't have a choice, so let's start doing that together. Okay, this is what I have for my table cover. It's not very on theme, but it was very hard in Target to find a Desi themed table cover. So I have mermaids, because why not? Mermaids are very cool and they're just the cutest ever. So let's unpack this. I was thinking, because I have two tables, to open it and then to cut it so that it can spread across both tables. But I don't really know because it's it's got like a raggedy edge. So if I cut it, then you'll be able to tell that I cut it. Guess I'm just gonna have to go in and rip it. Wow, smooth. Well, it was exactly what I expected. Oh, it's quite long actually. Whoa, it's like super long. I think I can stretch it across both tables because that would be more resourceful. Also, oh man, I wish I got something to cover my couches with because they are so gross and ugly. I am so confused because the picture showed that one side of it had like curvy edges, but all sides of this are straight, which is good. So when I cut it, you won't be able to tell, but it's also a little bit misleading, isn't it? Because it definitely showed that it curves. Never mind, this side is curvy. It just didn't look it, but it is. But it's good because it, it's like subtle, but you can see against me that it's curvy. This is why I wish I had someone to help me because I just have a bundle of stuff. And like, how am I gonna sort this out? It's like a sari. Oh my God, that has stressed me out even more now. After I said sari, that made me realize that I have nothing to wear. strike six o'clock which means i've got an hour left to sort out myself because look at this this is not it right now i'm just a sweaty gross mess and i literally smell of curry which is a nice smell so ob objectively but subjectively isn't a nice smell on me right now anywho my room nothing new but it's not tidy so i need to sort that out and then oh my god i'm just i just keep constantly getting the sweat i know it's a bit tmi but like oof. i also feel like i look really tired so i need to sort that out shower change my clothes decide what i'm gonna wear get ready i've done all my like pre jobs like cut the fruit cut the lemon i almost forgot about my to toast taquitos 
taquitos and i got that out to defrost i literally completely forgot until i was like what did i get this plate out for like i got it out to put something on but what was it and then i was like oh my god i need to get those out of the freezer luckily they don't take long to cook so they're, they're not gonna delay anything i feel rather exhausted i feel like it's been a long day but i'm really looking forward to my guests coming along and i hope that they get to enjoy my day as much as i actually enjoyed preparing for it um the table setting up wasn't a complete disaster i thought that the table cloth because i cut it would have looked horrendous and there's one part it does look a bit off but you know what who's really gonna care absolutely no one so i'm literally gonna get ready i drank this whole bottle of water then i came in my room to drink this bottle of water forgetting that i already drank it and i was like oh no i usually don't filter water which isn't the worst thing in the world but i do like my natural trader rose mountain spring water instead <laughs> guest of the day oh my God. <laughs> come on in <laughs> and who's that my next guest hello Saying thank you. Oh, I'm oh, bad. I just oh, like a random one. Now. No, no. But, no. Maybe, but maybe the random one subconsciously is the one I would have put. So. Yeah. Yay! I know you. I text you enough. Hi. Number two is Lols. And number one. Mason! 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 I feel like this is a good time to put my outro. I really hope that you guys enjoyed just watching this video with me, just being part of the whole journey with me today, giving me a bit of company while I prepared some food for my guests. But overall, it was a really, really nice day. The movie was amazingly fun. Obviously, I've watched it before and I really like it. I love all the songs. Perfect. I had to watch about 18 different trailers to decide which movie I wanted for today. Because first, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I wanted to watch Edil Hem Mushkil, which is a good movie, perfect songs and everything. But it's not a good movie to show to people because it's a sad movie. It's like obviously really sad. And like, who wants to go to a party and eat food and have a laugh and then watch a sad movie? They're gonna be crying at the end. Mm -mm. So I was like, Anissa, you need to pick something that's a rom-com, romantic comedy. Anyway, I do wanna do like a Ramadan series and like videos in Ramadan. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but it's gonna be my first Ramadan alone. So I'm a little bit nervous more excited than nervous but for now subscribe if you haven't already um please like this video share it and i hope that you liked it and found it fun to just have a little glimpse of my life thanks for thanks for joining me today